Blaziken in Pokemon Sword and Shield has 80 health and 70 in both defenses, so it isn't the tankiest thing, but it can survive a hit or two, especially a neutral one, from something that isn't super powerful. But the thing Blaziken is pretty much known for is damage with 120 attack, 110 special attack, and 80 speed. And the 80 speed's okay, but it actually gets really good when you look at its ability speed boost. At the end of every turn, it raises its speed. So if you protect or endure or anything like that, you pretty much raise your speed for free. Also, Blaze is a really good ability to... Or Blaze is the starter ability. I mean, it can it has its uses if you play around it on purpose to lower your health with like Endure, Lychee Berry. Just go all out with fire type moves to try to finish them off. But firefighting, it's a pretty... It's a decent typing. You're weak to flying, ground, water, and psychic, and you resist. You have a four-time resistance to bug, and you resist steel, fire, grass, ice, and dark. So you have more resistances than weaknesses, which is pretty good, but you're, you aren't the tankiest thing. And one thing about Blaziken is you kind of want to be low on health. So one way to run Blaziken is just the sash. You could run it pretty much focus sash into speed boost. You go out, you do damage, you KO them, or you take a hit. Like, you want to bring this Blaziken out on something that's already set up, that's already had a Swords Dance or two, and you come out, you take a hit, you hit them, they might survive, but then the speed boost activates, and then you outspeed them and KO them next turn. And preferably, you want to be at, like, 1 health or really low health, so Reversal has 250 base power with Stab, with 120 attack, which is really good. Blaze Kick's really good coverage, and especially if you if the Sash gets activated, Acrobatics has 120 or 110 base power, which is really good. And then Earthquake's just really good coverage in that last slot. But pretty much, you just want to get to 1 health and just sweep with Reversal and 110 base power acrobatics. Blaziken's decent. Like, you have other options. Like, if you just want to go all in once you're so low on health, you can just throw in a Brave Bird or a Flare Blitz, but you'll KO yourself on Recoil, which is kind of a risk. You don't... It's kind of a risk. It's not really worth it. You could also run Stone Edge instead of Earthquake if you want to deal with Flying Types more. If you're worried about Flying Types... Uh, poison jab for fairies if you're worried about that but there's no really need for other than fairies you don't really need poison jab because fire hits grass and you're already hitting steel and stuff like that so you don't really need like poison jab is poison and fire is a good combo but blaziken doesn't really need it but another way is pretty much the speed boost is blaziken's best ability you pretty much always want to run speed boost there's no reason not to if you have access to it but another one is just life orb and just four offensive moves you want to come out and just do damage with high jump kick High jump kick or close combat, if you're worried about the 10% accuracy or them switching in a ghost type or protecting, you can replace high jump kick with close combat. It lowers your defenses, but it doesn't have that chance of recoil, and it only has 10 base 10 last base power. And it would suck to lose a match because high jump kick missed because of 90% accuracy. But flare blitz, blade a uh, brave bird, and then earthquake in that last slot. Again, or stone edge, depending on what you want to run. 100 100 is really good with earthquake. Stone edge has stone edge has the accuracy problem which could screw you over you could also run reversal in this last slot if you just like if you whittle yourself down with life orb or you just take a hit and it doesn't ko and you have low health you could just go out with a really powerful uh reversal but the point like pretty much with this one is you're just doing a lot of damage and speed boost is going to make you faster and faster but you're going to take a lot of recoil damage so you have to be careful about that with flare blitz brave bird and if high gem kick misses or they protect so you have to be really careful because you're going to take away a lot of your health every turn. Especially if you take out something like a Blissey or something. Like they switch in something that has a lot of health and you take it out, you're going to take a lot of recoil damage back. So you have to be really careful with this Blaziken of not, of like managing your health well and not KOing yourself. Mm. The health points actually matter because it's, I mean it doesn't really matter but it's the difference between even and odd health points. HP, it doesn't really matter, but like, like the 50% thing could matter with that, but it's not really much to worry about. But a special Blaziken, like Blaziken has high attack and special attack, so another thing with Blaziken is you don't know if it's going to be physical or special. But another way, a thing that sucks about special Blaziken though, is you don't have the greatest coverage specially, but like these are its best special moves. Like this is the same if you want to run a special Dynamax Blaziken, you would have to pretty much run this, but instead of Aura Sphere or Focus Blast... Because, like, if you look at Blaziken's special coverage, like, it doesn't learn much. Focus Blast. Like, I would replace Flamethrower with Flame Blast. Or Fire Blast. And then Aura Sphere with Focus Blast. But other than that, you don't have very much coverage. Like, you have Fire, Mud Slap, and Normal. And Solar Beam. Like, Vacuum Wave is, like, Priority. So if you want to run a Priority... Actually, I don't know if it actually learns Vacuum, vacuum that move anymore. 
I don't think it does. Uh, I actually don't think it learns that. Yeah, I don't think it learns that. But like, it does not have very good coverage. Yeah, it does not learn it. It does not have very good special coverage at all. Like, even looking at this. Okay, black fire. You have fire, scorching sand, and just straight physical. You have focus blast, first stab, solar beam, and that's it. Doesn't really learn anything else that's good, especially. So I wouldn't really run. Yeah, it doesn't learn vacuum wave. Like you have to be very careful. Like with the special one, if the second you use a special move, they kind of can figure out what you have. But like Dynamaxed, I would run. Like this is what I would say if you were on a special speed boost blade, you can run something like this. But if you're on Dynamax, I would say Fire Blast and then Focus Blast, and just go from there. Because you, and the problem is like this raises this raises your attack, which is useless. Solar Beam brings grassy terrain, which is whatever. And even if you're not Dynamaxing, you can only use Solar Beam if you're physical or like if there's sunlight out. But if there's not sunlight, you can't use Solar Beam on Dynamax, so it kind of hurts you. You really have three moves and a maybe if they bring sunlight or something. If you're not bringing it. So that's kind that kind of sucks with Blaziken, especially. That's that's the biggest weakness. I think it's just it doesn't have diversity in its moveset. But another Blaziken that I actually really like is just Swords Dance into the Sash. So especially if you bring this one in on something that's really powerful or just something that you know can drop you down to one house. Also, with all the Sashes ones, all the Sashes, be careful of Dragapult because Dragon Darts will pretty much make this useless and do a lot. It pretty much KO you. I want to say Dragon Darts... Especially like a dragon dance one shot to you, so you have to be careful of that, or just multi hitting moves in general. But playing with this Blaziken again, you come up on something set up like a shell smash, palty guys, or something like that. Swords dance, take a hit, one health. You have now have a plus two with a 250 base power reversal, a 110 base power acrobatics, and an 85 stab blaze kick with a high crit ratio. So pretty much with this one, you have a plus two attack on your on your 120 base power. 120 base attack and you'll just do a ton of damage and shred whatever comes in you could also if you want a little more reliability with a set like this like this one i would say run sash pretty much guaranteed you have to run a sash otherwise it won't really you can't get the swords dance and the guaranteed one health or reversal but for example for like this one with a sash you can drop one of these moves maybe earthquake for like a endure drop earthquake for an endure lychee berry that way you're guaranteed to be at one health or if you well i cannot spell oh i'm gonna put an i yeah there we go or if you like know they can't one shot you for example you could just get a free hit off take a hit and then endure to guarantee the lychee berry one hp and then reversal 250 base power and you'll have a plus one on this one with the blaze kick and after you still have acrobatics so you can play around it like that but you lose out on your move you lose out on a move pretty much for a plus one so it depends you you lose you get more reliability but you lose coverage so it's it's up to you if you want to run the focus ash or endure lychee berry but for this one i would say 100 percent focus ash that way you can get the swords dance and even if you don't get dropped to one health your reversal will still your blaze skill will still be at a plus two your reversal will still be at whatever depending on your health acrobatics is kind of useless at that point but if you want to run just swords dance and you don't want to if you don't want to rely on the um Focus Ash, you can always drop Acrobatics for something like a Earthquake. Stay away from like Brave Bird though, because that does hurt you when it comes down to Dynamite, or hurts you when it comes down to Recoil. Earthquake or a Stone Edge would be really good. Or like a High Jump Kick if you don't want to rely, if you just want that dual stab and don't have to worry about the um, Reversal. Or Rock Slide if you just want that coverage. Like Blaziken has pretty good coverage overall. But Dynamax, I would run, this is a Dynamax blaziken just a physical one reversal 100 base power which is the max that a um fighting move can get brave birds raise your speed and it's really good coverage and good damage flare blitz again good damage stab earthquake good damage coverage again stone edge i would probably actually mm, earthquake is good stone edge is better coverage so you can hit flying types especially flying types that resist fire but or like flying types that so you can hit fly type super effective pretty much but it brings a sandstorm which would screw you over a little bit from the chip damage so you have to be careful of that but i mean skarmory and corvinite you hit super effective so you're not that afraid of them earthquake's just a good move honestly so you can just that last move's up to you again earthquake's pretty good if you just want to run a normal type move that's an option um i like the earthquake or the stone edge though honestly 
bounce. Like, there's no reason to run bounce because you have Brave Bird. Poison Jab, it raises your special attack. But the problem with Poison Jab is it gets capped off so early. And I wouldn't really drop this much lower. Maybe a Thunder Punch if you're worried about, I don't know, Water types. Thunder Punch maybe. But it's not going to have a lot of base power. So you have to kind of be wary of that. But some of the other moves Blaziken learns are, like, Feather Dance. Blaziken learns a good amount of, like, disruption things, like, status -y things, like, Feather Dance, for example, it lowers their attack by two, which is pretty good. Uh, Bulk Up, you're not the tankiest. I would not run Bulk Up over uh, Swords Dance pretty much ever. But, again, Flare Blitz and Brave Bird, both high damage recoil moves, though, so you have to be careful. It also does have access to Bounce, which is whatever because it has Brave Bird now, so Bounce is pretty much useless. Uh, Fling, it has Heat Crash, but Heat Crash, I like the reliability of blaze kick instead of heat crash because you would need heat crash actually i think goes off weight so it's actually yeah no blaze kick is terrible in blaziken because blaziken is actually pretty light if i remember right it's not heavy enough to make use yeah blaziken's 100 yeah never use heat crash on blaziken because it isn't heavy enough to actually make use of the heat crash so there's no point of running it because it's based off weight and blaziken's really light or like on the lighter edge lighter side so heat crash will never get that damage uh, you're not the <laughs> revenge is not good on Blaziken because Blaziken's so fast. Uh, Bulldoze maybe in doubles. Shadow Claw just has low base power. Facade's always an option. Well, I would not use Facade on Blaziken because the main use of Facade on physical attackers is if you get burned and Blaziken won't really get burned, and like for 99%. But again, I wouldn't use Shadow Claw just because it has so base ba low base power when you have access to like Thunder Punch and some of the other moves Blaziken has. Again, Rock Slide, if you want to run a rock move, but you don't want to play the accuracy game with Stone Edge. There's no real reason to run Brick Break either <laughs> because of the moves you have. Poison Jab's good if you want to worry about fairies. Body Slam's just a decent move overall. 85, 100 with a chance to paralyze. But I think a 35% a thirty percent chance to paralyze. Again, already talked about those. Brave Bird. Superpower, I don't I don't like Superpower. Like, unless you're running a special Blaziken with, like, some physical mixed in, I would never run fit Superpower. But even then, you might as well run Close Combat at that point versus Superpower. So, and and then you go down, like, it's special coverage is not good at all. Snore, Swift, Round, Fire Spin, or Sphere of Flame. Like, these moves are pretty good. Solar Beam, you need to be in a Sunlight. You need to be in Sunlight to actually make it use. Focus Blast has, so, has low accuracy and Overheat lowers your special attack. You could run Overheat, though, on a set like with, like, a Life Orb or something if you just run a special move. Because it doesn't, because your special attack's high enough to worth no investment, that overheat's gonna do a lot of damage. It's gonna do pretty good damage, and you're not really worried about lowering your special attack. So overheat's always an option on like a physical set. But like some, again, some of the other moves that Blizzard can learn, like status wise, are like Will O' Wisp, for example, is really good to burn a physical attacker, and pretty much they can, they won't do very much damage at all after that. Swords Dance really good. You have you have speed boost, so I would never run agility. Uh, substitute and dur. There's some things you can do around that, especially if you get fast enough to where you can play around the substitute and like maybe they're toxic or something, and you can kind of play around with the substitute and get them just low enough. Uh, bulk up, no. Work up is work up's weird because it's like on paper it looks good because it raises your attack and special attack, but it's by one stage, and it's not really worth a move slot, especially because you'd have to run like a sash or something to guarantee your survival. So, like, workup's not that great, but you could always focus slash counter, too, like, on one of the counter sets instead of, I mean, not that one, but, like, with a sash, just throw in counter instead of maybe acrobatics, or instead of swords, and just throw in counter, you come in, take a really powerful physical hit, and just KO them with a counter, and then you're at one HP anyway for the reversal. So, like, pretty much this one, instead of this or earthquake, you could run counter and do some things like that. Last resort, if you can get to it, like it is really good. 140 base power for free, pretty much, quote unquote, for free because you'd have to use every other move first. But it's a pretty good option. Night Slash, again, it has low base. It's like Shadow Claw. It just has low base power compared to some of the other moves Blaziken can use. So I wouldn't really use it. Uh, Scorching Sand also has a chance to burn too on a fizz or in a uh, special Blaziken, so you can play with that. It has the Blast Burn because it's a starter. Same with Fire Pledge, so you can play around it. Also, it's fast, too. So, like, if you can get that Fire Pledge, if you can use it with, like, a Sceptile or something like that, it's pretty fast. Like, it's fast enough, especially after one speed boost to where you can get that dual pledge off in doubles before they have a chance to attack. 
So you can kind of play it. Like, uh, Blaziken's really good for the pledge if you're not running, like, a super tank to use it with. But that's how to use Blaziken in Pokemon Sword and Shield.